after much speculation, rumors, BS, and years of development, the next Assassin's Creed has finally, officially been revealed. And it looks marvelous, so we're gonna look at it in great detail. There's a lot to leap of faith into. There's a lot of story details to go over, a lot of information. And to nobody's surprise, the setting involves Vikings, officially called Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Vikings have been a part of Assassin's Creed lore for a long time. I mean, pretty much every piece of history is. And it was even hinted at heavily in The Division 2. This Easter egg in The Division 2 has aged like fine wine. There's a Viking holding an apple of Eden, and the final name of the game is just splashed right there. It was there all along. The official reveal dropped yesterday, and it was really unique how they did it. I actually really enjoyed it. Ubisoft had a live stream going on of the official artwork coming together. I'm really into art, and I don't mean that boring art museum stuff. I mean like video game concept art, comic books, watching people draw. I love that stuff. So it was very cool watching people speculate as the artwork came together because it kept changing. I mean, this thing was like eight or nine hours long. Eventually, it all came together into this final image with Viking raiders attacking English knights on the right, Viking ships sailing on the left with our main character in the middle, and the official cinematic trailer dropped today, which we are going to talk about. It reveals plenty of story details. I'll post a link to the trailer down below in case you want to watch the whole thing uninterrupted but watch this video first. First question, who is the main character? Well, it depends on the player. Once again, we've got the choice of a female or male character, but it's a singular story, so it really doesn't matter who you pick. The story is going to play out exactly the same, so it is going to be a little different than Odyssey, whereas in Odyssey, if you picked Alexios, Cassandra played the other role, but if you picked Cassandra, Alexios would play the other role. This is the same exact character, so it's one singular story. Pick male or female. They have the same story, same name, so it's more for the player than anything. The character's name is Eivor. He or she will be customizable, including hair, clothing, war paint, and hopefully you can customize an epic beard too. Unless you choose the female version, then she probably doesn't have an epic beard. The game takes place in 9th century Norway in England, which would place this era anywhere between the year 800 to 900. This specific story begins in the year 873, when England isn't just one kingdom. And if you know history, or if you watch the Fantastic Vikings show on the History Channel, you'll know that Vikings regularly sailed over to England and raided them. But in this version of events, it seems that Vikings are being painted as the good guys. Since in the trailer, you see an English king saying horrible things about them and the footage of them doing the opposite. They murder and kill blindly. They scar the lands of England. Lands they will never defend. Never love. The Hidden Ones and the Order of the Ancients are returning since the groups didn't exist as Assassins and Templars just yet during this era. They are still these proto versions of what they will eventually become. And you'll be going from the shores of Norway to England dual wielding multiple combinations of weapons. You could even dual wield two shields if you want. Completely up to the player. And you get to take part in these big action set piece moments called assaults which involve attacks on large protected fortifications that you can take over. And much like recent entries you'll be able to upgrade and custom gear and special ability through a skill tree. And I love how these games just keep building on one another. Origins changed up the formula completely. Odyssey built on that and Valhalla will be continuing to do the same, even letting you build a settlement where you could recruit others to live alongside your clan. Obviously the ship sailing features back, something that I personally loved since Black Flag, complete with a crew that you can also customize. There's not a lot of story specific details involving the modern day storyline just yet, but it is back and it does continue Layla's story from Origins and Odyssey. So if you haven't become familiar with her story just yet, you may want to go through Origins and Odyssey first. Be prepared to spend a couple hundred hours if you decide to do that though. And leading development on Valhalla is Ubisoft Montreal. The last two games they worked on specifically was Origins and Black Flag. My favorite Assassin's Creed of all time, by the way, Black Flag. Well, let's check out some of the details in the trailer and see what we can learn about Eivor's world from it. At the beginning here, this is home. This is the settlement in Norway, and he's being blessed by the gods, before leaving to raid England with his crew. Much like Bayak did in Origins, he's got a strong belief in the gods of his culture, so there's going to be a belief that Odin has a very strong favor for him. And I like the shot of him sparing innocent women and children, because Vikings were seen as bloodthirsty, cruel warmongers. A lot of that history was written by the English, though. Many of them were terrified of the Vikings. Valhalla, as Assassin's Creed does, is going to attempt to show a different side of 
of history. Historically, the Vikings were very focused on settling in parts of England also, and integrating into their society. And you see that here where he's building a settlement there, which is going to be a core aspect of the gameplay. You invade areas, create settlements, manage your little society. That's going to be really cool. And here's a historical figure, King Alfred the Great, one of the many kings of England. Historically, he was known as being completely against the Vikings, hated them. He didn't want them there, and he was one of the most successful in pushing them back. So he's going to be a huge threat. And I said one of the many kings because at the time England wasn't this unified country under one banner that it is in today's world. It was made of multiple smaller fractured kingdoms. And the final battle in the trailer is really cool. You see the hidden blade mounted on top of the gauntlet this time. Part of Eivor's journey will involve him meeting the assassins for the first time and finding common ground with them. So it reminds me of Edward's story in Black Flag also. Edward didn't start off as an assassin. He was a pirate first and foremost. So very similar story elements here. You're a Viking first and adopt the assassin order later in the story for reasons that will not be spoiled. We've got a release date, holiday 2020. Thankfully it's coming out this year. Collector's editions are already up for pre-order. You know I already got mine. But I don't see the Xbox Series X or PS5 collector's edition pre-orders up yet. I assume those will get posted later, so you can always change your pre-order. The game has been confirmed for Xbox Series X, PS5, Xbox One, PS4, Stadia, PC through the Epic Game Store. I'm sure a lot of people are going to hate that. And the Uplay Plus subscription service. Pre-ordering also gets you the special The Way of the Berserker mission. I don't think I need to explain anymore how pumped I am for this game. I'm going to keep my eye on it, and as more information keeps coming out, I'll keep reporting on it all the way up to release, of course. But leave me your thoughts down below in the comments section. What do you think of the reveal? Are you excited that we're going into the Viking Age? And where do you want to see Assassin's Creed go next after this? I want Feudal Japan, I've been wanting Feudal Japan, and World War II. Both eras very heavily involved in Assassin's Creed lore, by the way. But I am happy that we're in the Viking era. It's going to be awesome. I'll catch you guys later. Since you made it to the end of this video, I assume you enjoyed it, so why don't you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss any new content. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, links in the description below. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can join my Patreon or become a channel member. This is Fabian, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.